And today we're here with Kimberly Armingle. And what's your major? Mechanical engineering. And the first question I have for you is, what led you to pursue engineering as your major? Um, I had a teacher in middle school who really um, pushed the fact that like I'm able, capable of pursuing mechanical engineering. I've always been interested in math and science, but I never thought to myself, or I always thought to myself, I don't see a lot of people in like me in those fields. But um, she like kind of pushed me into that direction, gave mm -hmm. me encouragement, um, which led me to apply to a STEM program in high school and then led me to continue on pursuing mechanical engineering into college. That's great. And the second question I have for you is what resources during your elementary, middle and high school years would have helped you better prepare for your undergraduate studies? I was very fortunate to have those resources available to me. Like I said earlier, I was in the STEM magnet program. And within those programs, they push a lot of design courses, heavy calculus and um, science courses. And those set me up for a lot of success now at UNC Charlotte as I have you know, kind of gone, gone through um, a lot of those basic mm -hmm. foundational courses. Thank you, Kimberly, for sharing. Of course. So these are some of my team members. This is Adam and this is Trevor. They have primarily worked on, he has primarily worked on Rotary Axis 1, so that is going to be the base over here. And he has primarily worked on the gripper, and he's also doing a lot of the coding, wiring, and all of that stuff. So now it's really um, coming all together. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, driven by a stepper motor, um, and then all of these are going to be servo motors, and so the goal is to get it actuating from this side to this side and placing blocks, three blocks in the right, left, and center. Yep. Okay, thank you, Kimberly. Yeah, of course.